With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says the ratio of energy required to raise a satellite to a height h above the earth's surface to that required to put it into the orbit s. So basically we have been asked to calculate the ratio of energies first is to just take the uh, satellite to height h and next is the energy required to take or put the satellite into its orbit. Alright, so uh, first let's try to understand this. So for the first case, let's suppose the energy has to be even energy required to take satellite up to height h. So first let's try to understand the given situation with the help of a diagram over here. So we can say uh, when the earth uh, satellite of mass let's say small m is placed on the earth surface and let's suppose this is the earth having mass of capital M. So when uh, the satellite is on the earth surface so its energy that is potential energy is given by the formula g m1 m1 m2 by r. So uh, this is the initial potential energy and when it has been taken to a height h so its potential energy will be something different or uh, that is given by the formula g m1 m2 by r plus h. So from here we can say uh, the energy which has been required by the satellite so that it can be taken to the height h is given by the formula energy that is change in potential energy. Alright, so whatever be the change in the potential energy at this two configuration same will be the energy required. So we can say u uh, delta u can be written as u final minus u initial. So u final that is uh, this position when it is at height h so we can write the potential energy is given by the formula g m m upon r r is the height from the center that is uh, it is taken as small r or small r can be written as r plus h minus of minus become plus initial potential energy when it is at the surface is given by the formula g m m upon r all right on further simplification we can write uh, g m m can be taken out as common so we are left with 1 over r minus 1 over r plus h so on further simplification uh, this can be written as g m m into h upon r into r plus h so this is what the expression we are getting and this can be further simplified as we can write e1 will be equals to uh, instead of g m we can write it as g r square because we have uh, studied a relation and here a small m is also left so divide by r into r plus h and here we can give the reason since acceleration due to gravity is given by the formula gm upon r square all right so further uh, if you resolve it we can say e1 will be equals to 1 r and r will get cancelled out so what we are left with is mgh upon when we bring this r down or in the denominator so it will be 1 plus h over r so this is what the expression for energy we are getting for taking a satellite from earth surface to height h so this is the first part for the second part it says uh, we have to find the energy to put it into the orbit so uh, in order to put the satellite into orbit where it revolves all right so it is associated with some kinetic energy as well which is nothing but it is a critical uh, we, where we can say the satellite is moving with orbital velocity or we can say critical velocity so here kinetic energy comes into existence and we can say now total energy that is associated uh, with the satellite in the orbit it is uh, nothing but it uh, total energy we can write so here it is having a total energy which is a sum of potential and kinetic energy and from there we can subtract the potential energy which is at the surface so that much amount of energy will be required for satellite to be uh, shifted to the orbit so we can suppose that e2 is the amount of energy required so it will be total energy that is given by the formula minus gmm by 2 into r plus h all right because we have already studied about the total energy of a satellite revolving in an orbit it is given by formula gmm upon r plus h or which can be written as or which can be written as half of potential energy so from there we are getting this result and plus of the energy 
which is at the surface that is gmm plus r gmm upon r so from here uh, we can say now uh, when we subtract both of this so that much with the uh, energy required for satellite to be shifted to the orbit from here we can say on simplification we can take gmm as common out so what we are left with is 1 over r minus 1 upon 2r plus 2h so on further simplification uh, we can write this can be written as gmm and here can be written as 2r plus 2h minus r upon r into 2r plus 2h so from here we can say uh, gm again can be substituted as gr square into m and here we can write this can be written as r plus 2h upon r into 2r plus 2h so from here we can say this one r will get cancelled out so what we are left with is mg r plus 2h upon 2 into r plus h all right so uh, this is the value of a2 we are getting so here it is one r left all right so from here if we further simplify it we can get a2 will be equals to uh, mg r plus 2h and from uh, denominator we can take r out as common and it will cancel from the numerator so we are left with 1 plus h over r so let's say this is our equation number uh 2 and above we have calculated e1 and this is e2 so from uh, e1 and e2 we can take therefore ratio of e1 by e2 will be equals to e1 we have calculated it as mgh upon 1 plus h over r and that is equal uh, into uh, this ratio we have calculated 1 2 into 1 plus h by r dividing by mg into r plus 2h so from here we can see that mg and mg get cancelled out this term also will get cancelled out so what we are left with is uh, we can say it as 2h upon uh, r plus 2h so since we can say since r is much much greater than h we can say r plus 2h will be approximately equals to r only therefore r plus 2h will be approximate equals to r therefore we can say the ratio e1 by e2 will be equals to 2h upon r so this is the answer to this question i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today